Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost nine years now. Nine years coming up in like a month, two months technically because it's end of Jan. So, very excited. Today, I'm going to be getting ready Black Friday sale orders. I'm mostly at the moment made to order, which means that whatever orders I get in, I probably don't have the stock of and I will make the make them as they come in. Next year I'm planning to do a massive overhaul of my website and for the first time in uh, nine long years I will be in stock. Like when an order's placed it will already be made. So I'm going to be trying to do that because this is a very good example of why. From here these are all the orders. So usually in a week I would usually get maybe this. Sometimes even less. Sometimes I might even get a page in a bit. Like, it won't be this much, but in the last week, I've received three pages. So, that's a lot of items. It's over 500 items, so <laughs> there's a lot to do. As you can see, I've already sort of gone through a lot of them and marked out what I'm doing. So, if you want to, like, have a look what I do, I literally just write them all down because... I can't work without writing them on a piece of paper. Like, I don't know how people do it through, like, the packing slip and stuff. Like, it would just be too hard for me, especially with the amount of items I have to make. I colour coordinate them into, like, pink is for bows. I've got blues for XL scrunchies. I have yellow, if, um, yellow for other items like DIY packs, petite scrunchies, and, like, my mini scrunchies. Also, if they request a thin elastic. Where it's marked completely green is the items that I have in stock, ready-made. I also sell hair claws on my website. So these are all the claws that I've sold. I just put in about 10 more orders on this sheet though, so I need to go through and collect the rest of the claws, because I know there was a few more claws ordered. So far, these are all the scrunchies that have been pre-made that I was able to collect from my scrunchie wall. And I'm just going through my market stock right now just to make my life easier. Although, in saying that, will it make my life easier? Probably not because Friday, which is in three days, three days, it's Tuesday currently. So in three days, I have a market, which should be a pretty big one or at least a good one, especially given the weather. And then on Sunday, I also have another market. And in the next three weeks, all up, I have nine markets, which is massive for me. Usually, I only do one to two markets on a weekend. Sometimes I'll do three, but I rarely do three, like, three weeks in a row, you know? So, it's going to be a very, very busy weekend for me. Um, and coming up to Christmas. But I will be closing the website down very, very soon. Because I want to start prepping for my massive website overhaul. Um, so the website will probably be going down, I'd say, next week. Today, I want to try and get... What was it? I think it's midday. It's midday. I want to try and get the bulk of this organised. Whether that be everything cut, at least. I want to start sewing today. Because tomorrow, I want to finish everything. I know, I'm dreaming, I think. But, um, yeah, I really want to finish everything tomorrow and then package Thursday. So I won't really have any time to do market stock. I should probably mention this one's not going to be me packing them because there is over 70 orders there and that will take me ages to film. So, yeah, uh, this will not be packing. This is literally just making and, I mean, there's so many to make so this is going to take up a long time. So I sold a heap of clearing scrunchies because uh, I have two boxes like this full of old scrunchies. But I'm trying to figure out the best way to figure out which ones I've sold. Because literally I just put them up like this. It was like the easiest way to do it for me. And like the quickest. And I just numbered them. Maybe if I leave this one up and work it out from... The, yeah, it'd be probably easier to just look at the numbers from here. I don't know. Look at the ones that are sold out. C2. Okay, so that one's no good. It's sold out. So that means I've got to make it. Some of them I'll have to go back over. Because 
there with my old sort of style and they will literally just fall apart but others aren't even sewn up like these ones I still haven't even sewn the elastic yet so I have a lot to make out of these two there's gonna be so much okay I'm just gonna get started and yeah. there was 300 available I think half of them sold maybe maybe a little bit less than half I just did a reel. Hopefully that will sell some more of these because <laughs> I have 150 left. I had 300 so I've sold half so that's alright. Better than not selling any and having them take up so much room in my wardrobe. These are the ones that I think I sold heaps more of because I realised I only really posted about it once on my stories and I did send it out to my email list but you know not everyone sees that so and I only sent it once. So I didn't really tell many people about it, I guess. And the people that did order from here, it was mostly return customers or people that... There was actually a lot of first-time buyers. I think it was because of the price point. Yeah, most of the pink ones have sold. Okay, let's have a look. These are the ones I still need to sew the elastic and sew the label. Actually, I don't even think... No, I'm not sewing the labels in these ones. Um, so it's just sew the elastic and sew a line. And then these ones are already done. But I'm just going to put them in here so I know I can keep them apart easily. Does anyone else just wear like noise-cancelling headphones without even having anything on? Because it's just nice to have like white noise. Is that what it was called? White noise? Yeah, I just... I just like it. <laughs> I like Loki, don't even know where to start. Oh, I don't even know. Hmm. Okay, so I still have heaps and heaps and heaps and heaps, and heaps to do. But I'm hoping now that I've done the clearance, uh, clearance scrunchies, that's like 150 scrunchies that, oh, well, I still have to worry about them because I still have to make like probably half of that, like probably 60 of them I have to sew up. But, you know, it's a lot less that I have to think about. So maybe I'm down to like maybe 200, 250 items I need to make. I'm hoping. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my big XL boxes in here and get the materials out of there. Because I have a heap pre-cut and I, I know that I have a lot of them that have been ordered pre-cut. So I'm going to do that first. And then I'm going to go into the cupboard where I've got my tubes and some already half made scrunchies and hopefully I'll have a lot in there, I don't know.
I just realized that this is gonna be like one of my last vlogs where I'm gonna be making everything after it's ordered. The future ones will be more getting the stock ready for the launch. Just like restocking. Interesting. <laughs> It's like yeah this sort of this will cut out a lot of time for me like searching for fabrics you know because I'll probably spend like half a day searching for all the stuff I need which is yeah why I'm making the big change anyway I have like three tubs of these with tubes in them but it is quicker to find the tubes and make them out of the tubes than it is to find the fabrics cut the fabric sew the fabric flip the fabric these are already like half done.
This elastic is so much softer than the elastic I've been recently using, which is so much, oh, it's just nice. It's the same elastic I used a few years ago before my supplier kept changing their own supplies. And now I've got plenty of this, so I'm pretty happy at the moment. <laughs> also, I'm watching Wednesday and I've never watched any of the Addams Family. So I suppose after I finish all of this, and it's good, I'm going to go watch everything I can find on the Adams Family.
Okay, so I've got a full tub done. This tub here is done as well. They're cutting the threads off these ones here. So I haven't got too much to go. I still need to sew that one though. Because um, I missed it. And I have to sew all the black ones as well. So there's a couple in here. They're mostly up here though. I still have to do all the clearance ones. But um, I'm just I'm not going to get it all done today. Because Reese has popped home unexpectedly. Sometimes he comes home from offshore. Um, and I just want to hang out with him. So... They're just not hanging time. Like, all these orders, I have until Tuesday to ship them, but I really wanted to try and get them out ASAP, which is almost a week away. But I just wanted to get them out ASAP because the postal delays. And all of these people didn't choose express shipping, but then also bought Christmas stuff. So I'm like, oh gosh. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake up when Reese does, so when he is getting ready to fly out. I'm gonna try and get all those packaged tomorrow. So I'm not gonna worry about the clearance stuff until probably Monday or Saturday, because I don't have a market Saturday. There's three of these tubs, full of scrunchies. Like that's how many I've sold. We're, we're most the way there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's not 6 a.m., which is the time Reese left. It is nine. I didn't want to get up. But I'm going to keep going with these scrunchies. And as soon as these scrunchies are done, I'm going to start packaging up the first lot of orders. Um, yeah, I think. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm feeling good. We might be able to get a heap of stuff done. I don't know. We'll see. I have finished almost everything. The only stuff I haven't done are the clearance scrunchies, all of them. And I don't think I will do them till next week because the clearance scrunchies would have came in, I think they came in on Black Friday. And the people that ordered the clearance scrunchies really just order the clearance stuff. They didn't really order any of the Christmas stuff. So I'm not too stressed about that. I've got another week, week and a day left for those stuff. The stuff I'm more concerned about was anything that obviously has Christmas. But there is a couple bows that I need to get done. 14 bows that I need to get done. So these are my boxes. Kindly supplied by Australia Post, which I'll be using to put all my parcels in very soon. So I did my DIY packs. And I did some mini scrunchies, which are somewhere. I think, oh yeah, they're in here too. So I did the mini ones. I think most of my scrunchies are made. So these three boxes are what I've made like mm, yesterday and, and the day before while I've been filming. And that box was the one that was already made. They're the clearance scrunchies that I already made. And then they're my hair claws. These are the ones I still need to make. Sew them up. But I need like vacuum and stuff because like look how fluffy the floor is right now. Look, especially over this side. Oh my God. I'm going to tidy up this room and then, then I'm gonna go straight into the other video. So you won't hear from me for a little while. Okay, well, I'm going to quickly tidy up. 
have a quick little vacuum and then I'm gonna get right into packaging and hopefully get everything I want to get all of them that I can packaged labeled ready to be shipped tomorrow morning and I ideally I'd love to not have to do anything else tomorrow morning besides make market stock because I am pretty I don't know I feel like I do want to make some bows and some certain scrunchies in certain prints because I don't actually have that much. Okay, anyway, I'm going to say bye now, but I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. I've just finished making all of these. So many orders. Now I have to make all this. So this is the stuff that I still want to get done so that I can go out with tomorrow's orders in the morning. Um, and then anything else that's sitting there is pretty much just the clear out stuff. There's probably like 20 orders for the clear out stuff. Probably more than that because it was some since I since I printed out all the slips. I'm gonna go down to Spotlight real quick. Um, they should still be open, and hopefully they have the fabric I want. It says it's in stock online, but yeah. So I'm gonna go do that, and then when I get back, make the bows, make a couple of scrunchies. Package up the rest and then on to my next task, which will be making a YouTube video. Okay, I want to spell that. I got probably a bit too much. All the Christmas stuff was 60% off, plus I had the $40 discount code. So I bought a couple more Christmas things. Did I need it? No, because like, look up, look up there. That's all Christmas up there. While most of it, there's like probably like, you know, my hand's length of ones that aren't Christmas. But you know, it's mostly Christmas up there. I didn't need more Christmas stuff. I don't even like Christmas, but whatever. Got more. I got ones that were really good sellers this year and you know, it would just be cheaper, especially in this economy with everything going up. One of these fabrics, like this one, used to be like $10 a meter, now it's $14 a meter. And ones like this would have been like $18 a meter, now they're 20, like $25, $27 a meter. I'm like, what? Yeah. Oh, and I got heaps of these. So I mentioned this in another vlog uh, recently, but I'm gonna start doing matching thread colors to my scrunchies when I go completely made. I don't know what to call it. Can you guys help me? <laughs> um, like in stock, pre-made. I don't know, it just doesn't sound natural. Made to order just this is like easy. I had like some comments saying, oh god, they're tiny, blah, blah, blah. But this is gonna take me a long time to get through this for that, like just the opening scene. Like I'm still on, like my bobbins, for example, I'm still on the same black one I have been for a couple months, you know? Like, and that's because I only use it use it for the opening seam. This these will last me a long time. But the ones I got today or tonight aren't actually for that. They're for my DIY pack. I have two types of DIY packs. Uh, well, currently I've only got one type, but there will be another one. Currently, the one that's available is like a hand sewn one. It's more for like kids or like teens or adults if you want to do hand sewn. These ones will be for the burrito method for a sewing machine and I'm, I'm going to include the Gitterman get get thread in it. Yeah, because I feel like that's like a bit more high quality to use uh, compared to, you know, just your typical cheap stuff, which I've got on my <laughs> industrial right now. And I like do little packs and I'm going to make them look really nice. I'm going to get boxes made up, like proper boxes and yeah, make them look good. So that's the plan for those and I just thought might as well get, you know, them for $2 each, which is what I got them for, I think. Yeah, $2 each I got them for, rather than spending $5 each when they're not on sale. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, and I also got the fabric that I actually went in for. So I'm going to quickly cut another piece of this off. I don't know how much more I'm going to film of me doing this sort of stuff though because I don't really like filming at night because it's not the best light in here like it's not too bad now that I've changed it to like a light that costs like a lot more money to run you're welcome guys seriously 
because this bad boy costs so much more than my other white did. So for a long while now, I've been using this handy little doohickey, which is a Cricut. It's a Cricut Mini to iron all my bows before I sew them. Okay, so I've just finished shaking all these scrunchies and some bows and I'll be back again later. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Monday. So I'm getting straight back into uh, working on these orders. I currently have about 45 now, maybe more than that. No, 48 um, to do. And that's obviously not including the 50 or so that I already got out. So this is turning into 100 orders <laughs> to get out and there might be a few more coming in today. Because I will be sending out an email later tonight saying that my website will be closed from tomorrow, well, tomorrow night. And, you know, get your orders in now because I will not be accepting any more orders until, like, late January, even maybe February. I'm still not clear on what time I'll be opening. The clearance scrunchies. I've sold almost all the clearance scrunchies, so all that effort I just did to separate them all probably wasn't worth it. Because I'm just going to end up making them all, I think. Um, that way they're all made and I could just bring them to markets if I wanted to and just sell them for a couple of dollars. A few more more of those to do. Um, I'll have to go through them and figure out which ones are made, which ones aren't. And hopefully be able to smash those out quite fast. That's my little update. I need to quickly invoice someone for a wholesale order. Um, my last wholesale order of the year. And also write down what other items I need to make. Because I have had quite a few orders come in since I wrote down last and I won't be writing down any of the clearance scrunchies because I'm just going to make them all just be easier that way so yeah I'm going to do that and then I need to go find my book I'm just I'm in shambles um there is a book somewhere and it says things I need to do on Monday um because I have like all these reminders set for people who have been messaging me for certain things it took me way 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 too long to do all these uh the clearance scrunchies but I finished them all um, I definitely should have charged more because, man, that took ages. Um, but now I'm just making a face mask order. She sent me a heap of fabrics. So I'm just making those because uh, they need to go out tomorrow because she's already waited too long for those. And then I'll get on to my, the rest of the list. This is what I've got left to do. I also really need to send out an email saying, you know, I'll be shutting the store down. I'll do that later. I don't know when. I probably should really do it now. But yeah, I got heaps to do here. And these are wholesale orders. But they can. Mm, that one needs to go out this week, but that one, well, it doesn't need to. But I want to get it out this week. That one I'll probably do next week, though.
so much fluff. My goodness. I've just finished um, making the remaining bits and pieces. There's only really the wholesale order to go. Also, if you see these, I got pimple patches on. I just received like a whole bunch of random stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, because I did massive shopping for the Black Friday sales. I think I've done everything now. So I'm going to start packaging up. It's 3.30. I think I'll be able to get a quite a few done in an hour and then have enough time to go ship them. I'm hoping. We'll see. This this is it for this vlog. Sorry I wasn't able to film more at the end. I just didn't want to change the memory card. <laughs> yeah, wish me luck. There is 50, over 50 more orders now to go. Can't smile properly because I got so many of these little patches on. <laughs> I will see you guys in about five minutes when I get back onto the other vlog. So, anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!